Welcome to the Life Touch Yearbook Training Series. In this episode, you'll learn how to include teacher portraits on classroom pages. Here we have a page spread that is space for two classrooms. Here on the left, we see Mrs. Stern's class with a larger portrait of Mrs. Stern on the side. Let's do the same thing on the right page with Mrs. Carroll's class. First, let's get Mrs. Carroll's portrait added to the page. On the left, we'll click Portrait Images, and then Teacher to pull up a list of all the different classrooms. We'll then scroll down to a group called Staff, which are portraits of all of our teachers. Then we're going to click this little arrow to open this group, and scroll down to Mrs. Carroll. There she is. I'm going to click, drag, and drop Mrs. Carroll's image into this placeholder. There. Now let's add the rest of the class. In the side menu, we'll scroll up and find Mrs. Carroll's class group. Here it is. And then click, drag, and drop that portrait group onto this portrait panel. Okay. Now we can see here that Mrs. Carroll's portrait was already part of this portrait group but we don't want her on the page twice. Let's remove her from the portrait group and reflow the group. Let's find Mrs. Carroll's class again on the left, and this time, click Edit. Now we'll select the portrait of Mrs. Carroll, and then click Remove Subjects, and click OK. Great. Let's return to our page spread and reflow this group. We'll hover over Book Builder, and select Ladder Diagram, then I'll scroll down to our page spread. Here it is, and we'll click on it to open it. We'll select the portrait panel we'd like to refresh, and click the Tools icon to open the menu. We'll then select Reflow Unflow Group, and click Reflow Group. There! Let's finish by saving our work by clicking Save. And that's how to include teacher portraits on classroom pages. For more info on flowing portraits, check out our other episodes. Happy Yearbooking!